And they put it back in and score. Mallory Cop. This broadcast of Icebergs Hockey is brought to you through generous support of these WSDO supporters. Stoughton Hospital, a proud supporter of WSDO programming. Stoughton Hospital is a 2010 Wisconsin Forward Award Master Recipient, providing exceptional personalized service. Trusted care close to home. Farmers Insurance, Mike Daniels Agency. Proven history of great customer service. Call to discuss a free insurance proposal and discover if he can save you money. Farmers Insurance, Mike Daniels Agency is conveniently located in downtown Stoughton at the intersection of Main Street and Water Street. The UPS Store of Stoughton. You can't do it all at once, but you can do it all in one place. 2364 Jackson Street, next to Papa Murphy's. Crest Funeral and Cremation Services, love and concern in action. The three things Crest values the most are service, service, and service. A proud supporter of WSDO programming. McFarland State Bank, your local, safe, and trustworthy community bank since 1904. Member FDIC. Good evening and welcome to the Matt Center here in Stoughton, Wisconsin for Icebergs Hockey tonight. Tonight, the Icebergs will be taking on the Black River Falls Tigers. Uh, Icebergs. Icebergs sitting at a, an overall 2-5 and five record, 1-2 and two in the Badger Conference uh, with their last game. A 5-2 win over the Badger Lightning. Black River Falls, 3-3-1 uh, three, three and one independent uh, conference here. And uh, their last uh, game was a 3-3 tie with Onalaska, so they're ready to get out on the ice, and uh, we can get going. Teams are about ready. Officials have finished checking over the ice surface and the nets. All right. Yes, and it appears that Matt Gallagher had gone back into the locker room to get game clocks. Perhaps we're off to a slow start here tonight for the icebergs. We'll find out later tonight. Stay tuned. Matt Gallagher is now walking past me, and he just patted me on the head here, folks. He's doing a great job as coach. He made me feel really friendly and a down-to-earth guy. That's, like, that's good to hear. Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to the Man Community Center and WIAA Girls High School Hockey. Tonight's game features the visiting Black River Falls Tigers against our Icebergs. And now the starting lineups for the Black River Falls Tigers. Starting in goal, number one, Josie Matheson. <laughs> On defense, number eight, Ashley Overly. <laughs> also on defense, number 20, Caitlin Johnson. <laughs> At forward, number five, Chloe Spores. <laughs> also at forward, number 10, Maggie Olson. <laughs> and at center, number 21, Reagan you're out. Followed by the rest of the Tigers. The Tigers are coached by Coach Moser and assisted by Kevin Goulart, Brady Matheson, and Miranda Spores. And now, for your icebergs, 
Starting in goal, number one, Kenzie Nishan. <laughs> On defense, number three, Haley Heppel. Also on defense, number 23, Tegan Ruthheiber. At forward, number 11, Sammy Iyer. Also at forward, number 19, Aaron Olsen. And at forward, number 21, Paige Nelson. Followed by the rest of the iceberg. The icebergs are coached by Matt Gallagher and assisted by Jeff Weber and Joe Collison. Tonight's officials are Keith Barcalis, Tim Meeker, and Joe Warren. And now, to honor America and those defending our freedom, we ask that those who are able to please stand, remove your hats, and place your hand over your heart for the playing of our national anthem. Seventeen minutes on the clock, period one. Officials and the teams begin heading out for the starting faceoff. I'm really feeling the intensity down here between the two teams circling each other like a pack of animals. Surely it'd be a good game. Ooh, that was rough. I felt that one. back. Lost it. Tigers looks like, uh, oh, back to the icebergs. Tigers intercepted. Threw it in deep. Icebergs chase. Defense cleared away, held in. And a fast break down to the Tiger side of the ring. A lot of back and forth neutral ice play so far. Tigers take it down close to the iceberg's go, and it's quickly taken away. Iceberg's defense clearing it out. Giving chase. Nice forechecking. Tigers weave past one. He looks for a shot, and it's no good.
Uh, Tigers feed it ahead. Behind the, work it behind the net. Oh. In front. Save. By Mackenzie Nessius. Beautiful Of the save. Icebergs. Takes the draw for the Icebergs. Goes up to the right. Play it up. Kept in by the Tigers. Another nice shot on goal. goal. Scramble in front. Referee blows the play dead. Face off to the left of the Icebergs goal. Tigers win the draw, take it back, work it in deep. Icebergs fight to clear. Passed in deep, and that's icing. Faceoff's going to come right back down to the left of the Icebergs goal. Icebergs win the draw, work it around back, trying to uh, set up controlled rush. Broken up deep in their zone. Working it along the boards. Icebergs clear. Defense maintains possession, works it to the middle, where it went off the back of the skate. Tigers back in control. Icebergs playing good, solid defense. Oh, what beautiful stick work. That's uh, Sydney Urso and, and it's Hannah good. Weber. We got to go. Ah, that's Tigers' goal. Off one by the icebergs, kicked ahead. Work forward into the offensive zone. Okay, defense maintains control at neutral ice. Working it forward, skating with it. Number 21, Paige Nelson. Working it deep. Drop pass, picked up by the defense, shot on goal. Rebound, scramble, Iceberg still maintain possession. Looks like that uh, goal fired them up. Yes, it is very cold in this rink, but by God, that shot was hot. Defense still maintains control, holding the blue line, working it deep. Beautiful weave going back Icebergs down Icebergs right. are working on an... Line change, nice defensive stick work, number three, Hallie Hafel. Icebergs and Tigers. Tigers working it in and, and a beautiful shot game. and a score. Very quiet over here on the Iceberg sideline. I pity them. Top shelf goals are hard to get for a goalie. So, uh, Tigers win the draw, work it back. Icebergs at neutral ice, working it forward. Team is setting up their offensive 
positions. At the left point, in deep, trying to get some opportunities in the middle and broken up by the Tiger defense. Look at the speed of the Tigers just going down the ring. And it's nice away. initial stop, gave up the rebound. Another one to, uh, scrambling, a lot of digging in the corners. Number 28 passing it out to number 18. Just wide by a uh, shot on goal from the Tigers. Bad away taken nice up by number 24. Nice defensive stick work. She tries to skate it forward, but uh, Ooh, he's get that out number 12 of the Tigers, uh, Grace Engbertson, uh, is a fierce four checker apparently. up at center ice. Tigers recover. Start working it deep. Iceberg's defense getting it down the ice. Not quite an icing. Ooh. Handled by the goaltender. Defense is pushing it up, trying to clear the zone. Stopped at the blue line. Tigers are just being aggressive right now with the puck. That they are. They Ooh, wide right. are definitely playing the more aggressive game right now. And Iceberg's ice the puck. Time for a line change. And bring the face off right back down to the left of the Iceberg goal. Tiger's second goal. Scored by number five. Chloe scores, unassisted, time is set goal, 3.46. Nice perks win the draw, take it working in the corner, digging. Defense trying to work it out, Around pass the to the center. Lead pass. Tigers defensive positioning is solid and they managed to oh. redirect. Take it back out. Icebergs take control at center ice. Work a deep drop pass. Working it along the boards. Both teams utilizing that board tonight. Number 19, Aaron Olson, hustling back to break up the odd man rush. Icebergs work it forward, pass it in deep, go in with a line change and some fresh legs. Nice, defense holds it in at the point, takes the shot. Rebounds, Icebergs in deep, still maintaining control. Tigers take possession, try to work it out. Strong forechecking from the Icebergs. Number 15 of the Tigers just lost her stick. Matt Gallagher reminding his team on the sideline to keep their sticks down. Not too pleased right now. Well, that is very true. It keeps a stick on the ice and you always have it where you need it. Back and forth in the neutral zone. Tigers finally working in, but they are offside. Faceoff will come outside of the zone. Hannah Weber to take the face off for the Icebergs. Draws one by the Tigers. Gonna 
Hausman works it in deep, picked off by the Icebergs, working it forward. Number three just trying to set something up, just trying to get out of the zone right there. And uh, it's kind of working. Uh, number 26, Hannah Weber, hustling, making something happen. Oh, intercepted. I'm going to give up. Oh. Odd man rush. Nice pass and a nice save. Nice save. Oh, a little bit of shoving. Getting a little heated out here. Physicality in the women's game is toned down compared to the men, but it can still get quite rough. Icebergs face off. Side. Working along the boards. Very bouncy puck tonight. Both teams having some difficulty getting quality opportunities. Twenty-one page Nelson and the icebergs working it deep, passing it off, back to her. And back to the point and back deep. A lot of work in the corners, behind the net, icebergs. Lost control, but maintained nice possession at the zone. Shot from the point. Defense doing a good job holding the zone. Switching out, don't want to get caught on a line change. Icebergs definitely trying to set something up. Taking their time on the passes, that's for sure. Corralled by the Tigers, who are working it forward. Wide range. Nice first defense, clears it out. Two on one break, and the puck knocked onto the Tigers bench and play is blown dead. Face off right outside the Tigers zone. Number 24, Bryn Weaver takes it. One back into Tigers zone. Working it forward, broken up at center ice by the Icebergs. Nice stick check work there by uh, Iceberg's defense, number 24, Bryn oh, Weaver. A sickening third. A little bit of a give and go there, working it deep, skate, shot, weak and wide to the left. Didn't get what she needed on that. Taylor Nish just tried, did her best to hold the zone, but uh, unable to. Icebergs maintain control, deep in their own ice, trying to set something up. And the breakout's been picked off, contained. And now they're clearing the puck, going for a line change. Number 26, Ooh, Hannah Weber, left. incredible forechecking during the line change. She is everywhere tonight. Iceberg's defense, break it up. Center ice. Number 21, Paige Nelson works it forward, looking for a pass. Got her teammate in front. Tigers take control behind the net. Loose puck. Held in by the icebergs, uh, right into a whole mess of tigers, and they clear. Looks like they need the line change this time. <laughs> Scrapping a neutral ice. 21 just trying to get off the rink.
was an icing call. Pardon me, face off coming down to the right of the Tigers goal. Draw one by the icebergs, trying to work it deep into the zone. Lofted shot, caught, held. Face off, right to the right of the Tigers goal. Icebergs win the draw, work it out front, slot from the shot, blocked in front. It's getting physical, people are starting to go down. I wonder if we'll see any penalties anytime soon. So far it's fairly clean game though, nobody's Ooh, earning any. Speed demon. Number five misses the pass, that's for sure. Icebergs. Ice it. Played before the uh, red line, so icing's waved off. Tigers leading their breakout. Five. Gain five. control of the zone smoothly. And Working shoot. in front. And, cup, and a know. nice save by Mackenzie Nishis. She gave that puck a big old hug. Icebergs goalie. Right to the chest. Face off to the right. Correct. Puck. Icebergs win it, struggling to set up their breakout. Uh, Tigers four tracking is uh, pretty strong tonight giving him a chance for a lot of opportunities. Icebergs handle it deep in their zone. Anna Weber loses her edge. Meanwhile, Sydney Shipper manages to maintain possession and hold on for the icebergs. Icebergs maintain, maintain control in their zone. Beautiful catch. Sorry to work it forward. They're just looking to get a line change in. Get some fresh legs. Quick shot. Tigers are working it behind the goal. Another shot on goal. Another save. Trying to work it out. Poor tree. Locked in front. Setting something up. A lot of beautiful stick checking going on. That poor goalie for the iceberg is fighting for her life right now. Icebergs working it out. Pass intercepted. And deep in the zone. Tigers take control, broken up. Zone still not clear. 14, and it's a minute 45 left in the first period. They really do need to clear it, get some, get some uh, fresh skaters on the ice. Get some breathing room for the goalie. Looks like we have a penalty coming up. On a very tenacious trip. It is a tripping penalty, you're correct. It uh, looks like it's on the. Yep, it's on the iceberg sets. Uh, I believe number 19, Aaron Olson called for tripping. The house announcer will catch us up for definite for number nine for tripping. Oh. Really showing that puck some love right there. Another hug right to the right to the chest plate. Yeah. 
Thank God for those Thunder Killers in position. Tigers power play. Officials communicating with the coach. Play. Tigers power play. Getting themselves set up. Icebergs. Penalty killers. Icing the puck. One minute. One minute to play in the period. One minute in the period. Icebergs penalty killers. Stretching it out, making the Tigers power play. Number five just bobbing and weaving. Oh, that's Chloe Oh, and we got a strike across the face. Number five definitely going to penalty box for that. It's a shame. She was zooming up and down the ring. Goalie gave her a little shot in the knee right there, too. That should even it up at four skaters aside for the remainder of the period with a very short Icebergs power play to kick off period number two. Faceoffs move down to deep in the Tiger zone. Number five is in spunk. I like it. All right. Number five has the original slash of the goalie, and then it has a five minute high stick. So seven minutes on the board. Seven, seven minutes, minutes on, the board. on the board. We have a five minute major and a two minute Ooh. minor, both claiming one that. for slashing, one for high stick. Oh. Five minute minor or five minute major usually uh, Hope we have a bleeper causes that an mouth. injury or bleeding, so it, it's a pretty serious serious penalty to take. Number five, not happy at all, having some quick harsh words with the ref's call right Iceberg, there. Iceberg captain Tegan Piper waiting to hear exactly what the officials' instructions are going to be. seconds in period number one. Tigers try to skate it forward. Two on one. Icebergs hustle back to break that up. Eleven trying to heave it past ice. Center ice. Kicking it away like a soccer ball. Loose puck. Tigers take control into the neutral zone. And here we have the end of the first period. Score. Black River Falls Tigers 2. Icebergs 0. We will have Four on four for the first 35 seconds of the second period. And then more than five minutes of power play time for the Icebergs. 
this is a perfect opportunity for them to get caught back up. Um, scoring during a major, they stay a man down. So uh, this is a perfect opportunity. Uh, let's hope that uh, Coach Matt Gallagher can uh, inspire the icebergs. And uh, Just had one of the coaches walk past me and hope that we had muted those uh, penalty box mics, that's for sure. I didn't hear too much, so... I, I don't imagine too All much right. got out that shouldn't, so... Anyways, we'll be back in a few minutes then. Don't go away. Welcome back to Icebergs Hockey. The teams are coming out to start the second period. Referee is putting the nets in position. Stoughton Hospital stats report. After the first period, Tigers have two goals to the Icebergs, zero. Uh, Tigers shots on goal, 16 to three for the Icebergs. An enormous advantage in shots on goal. But after facing 16, I imagine Icebergs goalie is pretty happy with only allowing two. Uh, Three saves for the Tigers, 14 for Icebergs goalie Kenzie Nisius, and uh, penalties. Vicious, vicious. The uh, Tigers have two penalties for a total of seven minutes. Icebergs had one for a total of two. Uh, we also had a clarification during intermission about the five minute major. It was for contact to the head. Well, if you're gonna duke it out, that's the one place I would aim, that's for sure. Yes, but head injuries are nothing to mess with, and hockey can be a very rough sport. Teams are switching sides. Looks like both teams got number one as their goalie. Number one for the Tigers, Josie Matheson. Matheson. And McKenzie Nisius, yep, same, uh, same goalie is no goalie change for either team. Four on four. Matheson, is that, is that Israeli? No. Tigers control the puck for four on four for 30 seconds or so. Sydney Icebergs Urso working it out. in. Taylor Nisius, number 10 with the puck. Any relation? Find out. Nisius! My bad, Nisius, like vicious. Tigers control the puck. Trying to hold off uh, until the Icebergs power play starts, it looks like. Aaron Olson has returned to the ice for the Icebergs, and now we have Icebergs power play for five minutes and 33 seconds. After that jarring sock to the face by Chloe Spores. Ooh. Challenge Rocky Balboa as a contender for that hit. Icebergs take control, work it forward. Cross ice pass, control the zone. Working it in deep, shot on goal just wide. Sammy Ayers trying to make that shot. Icebergs power play, drop pass, shot on goal, nice save. Rebound into the corner. Tigers clear the zone. Icebergs power play, immediately working it back in. Shot on goal, and Josie Matheson will hold on. Face off coming up to her. Matheson. Right. Still baffled. Face off, Icebergs jam it up. Tigers try to take it out behind the net. Popped out, mad scramble, and the Tigers end up with it. 
going for a slow dump in. Textbook penalty killing by the Tigers. Cross ice pass, Icebergs, nice little give and go there, trying to work it in deep. Paige Nelson Number 21, fighting. Paige Nelson taking it in. Slow to get up. Ragging URL just taking off of that. Looks like she's hurt her ankle or knee. Oh yeah, she is in pain, that is for sure. And as long as she's coming out, they're swapping out the whole power play team. Got our lovely trainer Sam going to take a check on her. Icebergs power play. Working it deep. Tigers managed to clear. Icebergs regroup. Kelsey Waldner lost a bit of control, but her teammates backed her up. Icebergs power play to gain the zone. Sammy. Ooh. Sammy Ayers worked it in. Gallagher yelling for a hooking call. Puck bounced out onto the bench, and we have a stoppage. Both teams going for some fresh legs. Three minutes and six seconds remaining in the power play for the iceberg. Looks like Paige Nelson is back on the ice after her injury. Tougher than a $2 stake, this girl. And you can take that to the bank. Looks like we have some more penalty action. Or perhaps it was the magic fingers of Miss Sam, the trainer here, working her Mr. Miyagi magic. Who knows? We have two penalties on the clock, one for each side. Uh, five skaters on a side, so as soon as we find out what exactly is going on with that, uh, I can update you. Right now, the Icebergs still have power play. Number 19, Aaron Olsen, hustling it out. Number 20, Caitlin Johnson just kicking that puck out of her zone, keeping it away from the goalie, giving her plenty okay, of breathing room. Okay, so the penalties are two minutes apiece, offsetting one for hooking. Iceberg's power play, skating confidently. Number 29, Sydney Urso, working it deep. Any relation Looking for to teammates Urso? around the front. Opportunity in front, closed off by the Tigers' penalty killers. And one more time they ice it. Icebergs regroup, make another rush. Question is how many more times are the Tigers just gonna swat that puck out of the zone? Neutralized defense. Setting up a wall that would make the Chinese angry. They'd say, hey, they stole my idea. Keeping the icebergs just away from their goalie. Actually reminds me more of the neutralized trap the New Jersey Devils used to work in the 90s to great success, I might add. Icebergs. Working it up in the neutral ice. Three on two. Icebergs slowing things down. Regroup, making a shot on goal. And just Ooh. missed the rebound. Another shot on goal. Held. And the faceoff will come out to the left. Josie Matheson just absorbing the puck. Matheson. Still baffled. 54 seconds in the man advantage for the Icebergs. Once again, Tigers just swatting clear. the puck away. Textbook penalty killing by the Tigers tonight. 42 seconds left. And with uh, a five minute disadvantage in penalty time, they needed it. Yeah, I wonder if Chloe Spores is just gonna be like an angry bull when she gets out there. I wouldn't want to be on the ice with her. Uh, 
Icebergs taking their time, setting up their offense. Probably socked me in the face. In the rush, squeezed off. Nice defense. By Ellie Dolce. Scramble just on the neutralized side of the blue line. And we have a breakaway goal. I think that was number 19, Ellie Steinhoff from the Tigers. From the school of Sparta. Nice. Taking it for the Tigers right now. Okay, neutral ice. Tigers gain the zone. Shot on goal Ooh. off the post. Icebergs clear, trying to set up a, a break. Instead, they have to deal with the relentless four and back checking of the Tigers. Tigers maintain control, working it in deep to the point. Shot. Deflected, ended up down behind the goal. Ooh. Iceberg shuffle it along. Get it right past number 11, Taylor Guler. And the referee's in the scuffle right now. A little bit of a hustle. Still broken up. Tigers at neutral ice. Icebergs. Ooh. A sliding That knee. was a beautiful sliding poke check to break that up. Tigers take control at center. Work it in deep, gain the zone. Icebergs clear the zone, shuffle it forward. Sydney Shipper around the goal right now, passes out to 26. Waiting to get some backup as the team goes for the line change. Digging in the corner. Sydney Shipper again, working it out. Looking for teammates either at the point. Deep centering pass. Santina Cullison oh, takes a couple that, of shots and wax in there. Mark out the carnage. The poor referee, he's innocent. Just on his knees begging to the hockey gods to let him go free. Oh. And number 11 just falls right on the buttocks. Someone may have gotten away with a trip. It appeared accidental. But the ooh factor was still imminent. That is for sure. Number 11 was fresh snow still on the bottom of her clothes right now. Gets the ball away. Or the puck. My Icebergs bad. take control in their own zone. Try to work it forward. Tigers are forechecking and in their face every step they take. Broken up, caught in front. Oh, just floater. Lot a lot of digging along the boards tonight. Icebergs come up with it, fail to clear. Maintain control at the neutral zone now. Trying to work in and set up an offense. And line change got them caught up offside. They had to clear the zone. Tigers take that opportunity. Hard oh. shot on goal. Tigers relentless tonight. Leading 3-0 to zero and trying to take out the refs while they're at it. They're going for the full clean sweep. Icebergs try to uh, maintain control of neutral ice. Worked into the offensive zone. Pass out front. No good. Number 11, was, Sammy uh, Ayers, was not there to receive the puck. Yeah, I think she was a uh, victim of some excellent defense. Which the Tigers have been doing all night. Judging by the score. 
Tigers now in the offensive zone. Icebergs attempting to clear. And once again, the neutralized trap maintains control. And uh, even though it's dump and chase hockey, the uh, Tigers are out hustling and out uh, battling the icebergs tonight. You gotta wonder if that's due to the conditioning that they do at practice every day. They would give a wrestling team a run for their money with the conditioning that they have tonight on the rink, that's for sure. It does require an incredible amount of cardio to play hockey. And the Tigers called offside. The face off will come out side of the zone and both teams look like they're going for a line change. Number one, Josie Matheson of the Tigers just skating around aimlessly. Matheson. Huh. She has not seen a lot of action tonight, that's for sure. Have to be careful in those kind of instances because you can get caught surprised. And the icebergs just might try and capitalize on that for sure. Ooh, and number 11 just takes number 20 out. Okay, that's going to be a penalty. Number 11 knew that on contact, giving her a little pat on the head, apologizing. Uh, I'm going to guess we're looking at Sammy Evers for a two minutes for tripping. And the referee confirms. 5.25 left in the second period. And the Tigers go on the power play. Face off deep in the Iceberg zone. Iceberg's penalty killers work it behind. Tigers power play beating them to the puck. Number 26, Hannah Weber, skating off that uh, penalty time, trying to uh, maybe uh, produce a shorthanded goal, spark her team some. Coach Gallagher yelling at number 15, Sydney Shipper, to go after it. Take some initiative, try and shut down that defense. She was doing some excellent forechecking and hassling. Uh, ate up a good 30 seconds of uh, clock time on the. Uh, Tigers power play. Excellent penalty killing on the part of the Icebergs tonight also. Oh, choosing a different strategy. Number 20, giving a little bit of the business to number three of Tigers. Yes, Icebergs penalty killers appear to be uh, trying to uh, eat off the time by uh, skating and creating some opportunities for offense, keeping things at the neutral ice rather than just uh, letting the power play build and then clearing the puck. Tigers power play in control, gains the zone. Scramble around the net, went wide. Mackenzie Nish is doing a power slide in front of the goal. Iceberg's penalty killer is doing the right thing even though she's getting ganged up on so that they're free to clear the puck when it becomes open. A lot of hard scrambling. Digging along the oh. boards. Tigers come up with it. Shot on goal. Sounded like that was the post. Go Dave, go Dave, go Delayed Dave. penalty. Looks like they're pulling number one. It's the Icebergs. From the Tigers. Yep, delayed penalty on the Icebergs. Um, looking like it's number 23, Tegan Rupiper Hits. on a hook. One of the assistant coaches letting his team know on the iceberg side that reaching, hooking, and tripping are not acceptable penalties at all, and it's killing them out here tonight. Josie it Matt is. They just finished killing one penalty, and now they're right back on the penalty kill again. Josie Matheson back in the Ready goal. for the faceoff. Icebergs win the draw, skated behind the net. 
Tigers penalty or power play is already set up and they're starting to work it. Broken up. Number 24, Bryn Weaver skates it forward. Iceberg penalty killers trying to clear. Miss Han <laughs> Miss Handle by the Tigers. Number 21, Paige Nelson. More checking the heck out of things. Also some great hustle from Bryn Weaver. Jenna Hausman doing a little bit of puck handling herself. Okay, Tigers rush on the power play, gloved down. Mackenzie Nishes. Nishes. Face off will come to the left nice. side. One minute left in the power play. Two minutes and 15 seconds left in the period. Sammy Ayers, Ayers, working it forward Matheson. in deep. Aaron Olson keeping it. Mini Lone Tree was there with the puck for a while. Uh, Mini Lone Tree, that is, we have some fantastic sounding names on this hockey team. Okay, we have a penalty on the Tigers. That's number eight, Ashley Overland. Two minutes for interference. So we're going to have uh, four on four hockey for about 36 seconds, and then a short power play for the Icebergs to finish out the second period. Looks like number Savannah Holcomb for the Tigers taking his face off. Tigers working around. Icebergs control. Loft in deep. Tigers at neutral ice. Deflected. Iceberg skated out. Kelsey Waldner. Lobbing it deep. Looks like Spores has taken it out this time. She was one that had the very harsh penalty in the first and leading into the second period. And she was leading a one-man rush. Uh, guy I haven't seen since. Uh, oh, deflected in front off the back of Allison Zilmer from the Tigers. Icebergs working it forward. Handled at center ice. Okay, the ice. Uh, offside is waved off. Icebergs trying to forecheck their way into some opportunities. Tigers ice it, which, since they're killing a penalty, is perfectly all right. Thirteen seconds left. Second period. 24 white checking. Ah, 24, Bryn Weaver. Getting two minutes for checking. And now is definitely not the time for the Iceberg to want to be trying to get some penalties, that's for sure. Four on four for the remaining 13 seconds of the period. Face off taken, icebergs fighting with Tigers player number 12, Grace Engbertson. Oh, it looks like we've got a breakaway. Oh, no! 
Number Time four. runs out on the second period. Number 21, Paige Nelson, just absolutely displeased, and now she's going to storm back to the locker room, furious with herself right now. After two, score is Black River Falls Tigers three, Icebergs zero. When we come back for the third period, the Icebergs will be killing a penalty for about a minute 40. Boy, these, these ladies just can't catch a break on the Iceberg side. All right, and on that note, we'll be back in a little bit. Stay tuned. Welcome back for the third period of Icebergs Hockey tonight from the Matt Center in Stoughton. Currently, the Black River Falls Tigers uh, have a three to nothing lead over our Icebergs tonight. And looking at the Stoughton Hospital stats report, after two periods, Tigers are leading three goals to nothing. An overwhelming advantage in shots on goals at oh 26 God. for the Tigers and 9 <laughs> for the Icebergs. Uh, that has, however, meant a great night for goalie Mackenzie Nicious. 23 saves so far tonight to 9 for her counterpart on the Tigers. Uh, penalties. It started out as a very clean game, and by the end of the first period and throughout most of the second, it's gotten a bit chippy. Uh, Tigers have four penalties for a total of 11 minutes, where the Icebergs have been whistled for five penalties for a total of 10 minutes. The beginning of the third period, we'll have six seconds at four on four, and then a minute and 42 power play for the visiting Tigers. Teams are hitting the ice. Icebergs being led on by Haley Heffel, number three, from Deerfield. Officials are ready, and the teams are taking their positions. Icebergs Blue Liners, number three, Haley Heffel, and 23, Tegan Rue Piper. Rowdy, Rowdy, Rue Piper. With number 19, Aaron Olson, and number 11, Sammy Ayers, joining her. Face off one by the Tigers. Scramble in the middle. Some hard passes <laughs> going around right now. Tigers skating in a lot of hustle. For the love of God, I hope that the Tigers didn't pick up their second wind. Iced by the Icebergs. Iceberg penalty killing, keeping it out of their zone. Number 11, Sammy Ayers, four checker on the power play, working it in, gets herself an opportunity. Narrow angle shot at goal. Deflected down. And iced by the Tigers. So the faceoff will come back down in their zone. And some new penalty killers for the Icebergs. 59 seconds left in the two-minute minor. Icebergs win the face-off. A lot of scrapping oh. along the boards. There's oh. some uh, definite some fight in the Icebergs in the third period tonight. Looks like Matt Gallagher. Ooh, and they're not pulling Nishes. We have a penalty. 
number 12, Grace Engbritson. Coach Gallagher calling for a four on four right now. Two minutes for high sticking. If I heard the referee correctly. And so four on four for 43 seconds. Then the icebergs will have just over a minute on the power play. Icebergs four on four, working it deep, shot on goal. Referee blew the play dead. Looked like a hand pass was what he was signaling of some sort. Icebergs working it. Number 10, Taylor Nishes. Still have not found out if that has any relation to number one, the goalie, Mackenzie Nishes. Uh, I would imagine. Just, what a coincidence that would be if they weren't. I'd certainly look into that story. Icebergs just had an exceptional flurry of offense. Ellie Dulce takes a shot, and it's quickly smacked away. Broken up on the defensive zone. Rushing ahead. Santina Collison saying, and get that out of puck, zone. Giving him problems tonight, though. Iceberg's working it in deep, number 26 and number 7, and gloved down by the Tigers' goalie. And what? she holds for the faceoff. What is the name of that goalie again? Uh, that's number one, Josie Matheson. Matheson. Mm. <laughs> and I'll face Coach off deep in the now. Tigers' zone. Icebergs hustle to maintain possession. Shoveled in deep. Shot in front was blocked by some good stick checking work on the part of the Tigers. Number four, Jenna Hausman. The Tigers have control. Someone's without a stick. Icebergs maintain possession. It is very hard to play hockey without a stick, that is for sure. Yes, you either grab <laughs> one, another one, or uh, get off the ice and let someone with one take over. Icebergs intercepted that pass, working it up forward, two on three. Number three, Haley Heffel. Handling that one almost solo, Tigers ice it. Last icing of the penalty kill, picked off in front. Blocked Scramble away. Scramble in front of the goal goalie. Icebergs keep their composure, regain possession, and skate it forward. Drop back. Worked in deep off the boards. A lot of digging. The Tigers coming up ahead. Icebergs work it out to center ice. That's number 10, Taylor Nishes. Tigers take possession. Icebergs work it in. A lot of possession changes going on in the deep in the Tigers zone. Icebergs are putting on a lot of pressure. Seems to me as if they're close to the number of shots they've been able to get all night in this period alone. And it's like we have an icing call. It's like it's the icebergs, and it's players. going to come down to the right of McKenzie Nishes. Uh, 12 minutes 36 left in the third period. Both teams finally back to full strength. Icebergs and Tigers scrapping back and forth. Possession changes. 
Finally, the icebergs work it forward. Crossing pass broken up. Tigers try to steal it and take it ahead, but the icebergs are right back there. More pressure on the offensive zone. Held at the line and just cleared. And two on one. Some good hustle gets back to break that up. Paige Nelson intercepts that. Icebergs clear the zone. Tigers take possession and neutralize. Try to get themselves set up for some kind of up ice rush. Some excellent four checking. Aaron Olson, number 19, breaks that up. Even though it ends up in the iceberg zone, icebergs are in control. Tigers once again jumping in and just when you think the icebergs have control, they manage to break it up. We have an icing call coming up. It's like an errant lead pass, just got ahead of her. Faceoff will come back down to the defensive zone for the icebergs. Icebergs win the faceoff, nudged ahead to center. Tigers control. Bounce it off the boards. Broken up by the icebergs. Three on two. Icebergs take it deep. Ooh. It's number 26, Hannah Weber, working in it, broken up. Point holds, broken up again. And now, Tigers making a wretch. Scramble in the front, Ooh. rebound. Girl. Bodies flying. There are girls flopping more than DC superhero movies in the box office. And through all that, number one, McKenzie Niss just holds on and makes the save. Face off to the left of the Icebergs goal. Won by the Icebergs. Number 20, Kelsey Waldner trying to skate it around. She's mugged by two Tigers, but... Yes, it appears they're on ice skates, not roller skates. Clarify. Icebergs managed to make it out and work it down ice where... Well, they were in control. Now Tigers are skating it back out. Icebergs are back on defense, not making it easy. Coach Gallagher telling them to close it down repeatedly like a broken record. And here come the Icebergs rushing forward. Broken up. Icebergs maintain possession. Working it deep. Try and get those opportunities in front that just are getting shut down. Number 18, Sophia Mocaro, working it in. Pass to the point shot. Kick save. And the Tigers take it. Number 14, Savannah Holcomb, working it down herself deep into the end. Icebergs break it up, some crisp passes, and it's a three on two their way. Textbook defense by the Tigers. Prevents that three on two from becoming anything more, but the Icebergs are maintaining possession and setting up strong offense. Nice shot and deflection, rebound shot, love down, Josie Matheson. I think we'd have quite a different game if the Icebergs had had that intensity all night. Face off, won by the Tigers, trying to work their control around. Icebergs pitch, hold to the center. Shot blocked off, rebound. Tigers clear. No, they haven't cleared yet. Icebergs forechecking, keeping them boxed in there. D 
deep in their own zone. Very aggressive forechecking. Number 19, Aaron Olsen, worked it to the front. Shots, rebounds, kicked away. Icebergs maintain control, out to the point. Shot on goal, rebound. Lot of very intense forechecking. A lot of hustle from the icebergs in the opening the third period. Shot just high and wide. Tigers break it up and clear the zone, but right back to the icebergs. And the icebergs go for a line change. Tigers skate it in. Oh! Five hole goal from the point. Number 20, Caitlin Johnson. I think Mackenzie Nishes is going to want that one back for sure tonight. Face off at center ice. Tigers take possession. 15, Selena Hall just brute forcing her way through. Taking it deep into the iceberg zone. Icebergs working to clear it out, breaking up the plays. Officials stop the play. Faceoff's coming to just outside the zone. Looks like the puck went up and out of bounds. Yep, thanks from the fan who helped the ref chase that one down. Off shoved ahead by the icebergs, but Tigers send it back. Neutral ice back into the iceberg zone. Icebergs clear. Number seven, Kylie Babcock working it in. Back to neutral ice. Trying to catch Tigers in a line change, but it's working out for their defensive side as they gain control. Number five, Chloe Spores. Skating like crazy. End to end all by herself. Oh, missed. Can the Icebergs capitalize? Taylor Nishis chasing after it. Shot on goal, stopped, rebound. Icebergs maintain control. Ice the puck. Faceoff's going to come back down to the iceberg zone, but everybody's going to get a line change, which is what they really needed at that point. Icebergs intensity has picked up significant amount. Their defense is taking more chances. And while the scoreboard isn't reflecting it, it is paying off in the opportunities and shots on goal that they've been able to have. Icebergs maintain control. Out to center, center ice. Tigers dump it back in. Three on two. Broken up, perfect positioning, Sydney Urso. Icebergs converge on the puck. And Mackenzie Nish just grabs it until the play is blown dead.
face off to the left of the Icebergs goal. Icebergs win the draw, kick it over to the side. Tigers try to control, work it along the boards. Icebergs come up with it. Tigers at the point, lofted in, broken up through a mass of bodies. Shot blocked. Digging in the corner, behind the goal. Tigers come up with it, centering pass, deflected. Skated out by number 23, Tegan and Piper. Had her pocket pick, and the Tigers are breaking back. Again, good hustle prevents it from becoming an odd man rush. And the Icebergs turn it into a three on two. Centering shot. zone, maintain control, skating forward, pass off the board, center ice, control to the Tigers, both, girl, both teams digging along the boards, Tigers work it back out to center ice, Icebergs attempt to pick it off. Long shot on goal. And the Tigers skating it out. Icebergs challenging every step of the way. Number 10, Taylor Nishes. Can't get the steal she wants, but she's continually breaking up their passes. Hard collision, and we have an iceberg down. and training staff coming out to check on her. That is
it five. Five? Do I not put it up? Five for five. <laughs> okay, it looks like she's being helped off the ice. Uh, according to the officials here, we've got uh, number five, Chloe Spores, getting another five minutes, this time for roughing. Not sure, I believe that was number three, Haley Hayful, uh, who was injured on that play. Being helped to the locker room. Two minutes, 47 seconds left in period three with a five minute major. The Icebergs will have the power play for the remainder of the game, it looks like. Officials and coaches discussing the penalties. And we're ready to play some more hockey. Face off deep in the Tiger zone. Iceberg's power play. Face off. One and cleared by the Tigers. Iceberg skate back, maintain control. Tried to skate it out, broken up by the Tigers and fed back into the Iceberg zone. Tigers penalty killers are getting a workout tonight. And they are maintaining control. Icebergs break it up. Control at center ice. Dumped into the Tiger zone. Kiernan Hovland sent to chase while the Icebergs get the line change. Comes back to their zone. They reset, try to move forward again. Tigers penalty killers are taking absolutely no chances tonight and challenging everything. Icebergs gain control, bounced off the front, and cleared by the Tigers. Wrangled at center ice. Skated in, round the eye. To the centered in front, shot taken. That was number 21, Paige Nelson. Kicked away. Icebergs working their power play, keeping it along the left side. Work back out to the point, shot. Blocked in front, deflection corralled by the Icebergs to the right point, taken down front, one minute to play. Long shot in front, scramble, deflected, controlled by the Icebergs, shoveled back deep. Along the left side, back around the center. In front, shot, blocked, shot. Icebergs have pulled the goalie, the extra skater on. 
getting as much pressure as they can during the uh, remaining 30 seconds or so of the game. Sticks batted away. Held, cleared, off the boards. Icebergs gather, we got a mass, line changes on both sides. Work forward. And that's the game. Final score tonight. Black River Falls Tigers, four. Icebergs, zero. Traditional show of sportsmanship and the handshake. And that's it tonight for Icebergs Hockey. Once again, Black River Falls 4, Icebergs 0. This has been uh, Chris Woodcock and Lon Tremaine Woodcock filling in. Uh, that's it tonight from Stoughton. This broadcast of Icebergs Hockey is brought to you through generous support of these WSDO supporters. Stoughton Hospital, a proud supporter of WSDO programming. Stoughton Hospital is a 2010 Wisconsin Forward Award Master Recipient, providing exceptional personalized service. Trusted care close to home. Farmers Insurance, Mike Daniels Agency. Proven history of great customer service. Call to discuss a free insurance proposal and discover if he can save you money. Farmers Insurance, Mike Daniels Agency is conveniently located in downtown Stoughton at the intersection of Main Street and Water Street. The UPS Store of Stoughton. You can't do it all at once, but you can do it all in one place. 2364 Jackson Street, next to Papa Murphy's. Crest Funeral and Cremation Services, love and concern in action. The three things Crest values the most are service, service, and service. A proud supporter of WSDO programming. McFarland State Bank, your local, safe, and trustworthy community bank since 1904. Member FDIC.